Hi, my lovelies. It's your girl, Locked In Letters. Welcome and or welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Always turn on your notifications, like and comment because I absolutely love to hear from you. If you did not know, I am in this for the love of all things beauty and beautiful. So we are getting into a lock style today, honeys. As you know, I uh, recently had an opportunity to go down and have the fabulous Annette Roche do my hair. And um, one of the styles that she did was this um, quick and easy, lock, messy lock petal bun. And so we're going to try that out. So if you want to see how this style turns out, stay tuned. All right, so really quickly, um, so a, a petal bun is really um, a really beautiful style. However, it does involve rubber bands and a lot of people don't, um, number one, want to put rubber bands in their locks and number two, um, don't really like trying to do this, you're trying to put rubber bands, trying to do petals yourself is is a little bit challenging because like listen i would jack this up y'all so um while i was down in the atl annette demoed a or showed a really quick easy um alternative to lock pedals using rubber bands and she uses the shoelace method so we are about to get into this so the first thing that we're going to do is actually put our hair in a high ponytail so we are in a this is a mid pony right it's almost high it's, it's almost high it's almost low it's like a mid pony so i am i am going to use a rubber band because i am horrible about figuring out which locks to pull out and tie um but before you do any updo, you do want to make sure that your hair is appropriately moisturized and oiled. I have plenty of oil on my scalp. Although, hold on. Listen, we can't, it can't never hurt to put some more. So I'm going to go ahead on and, and drizzle some more oil on this scalp um, so that the inside of my bun, my scalp doesn't get itchy and dry and whatever so my hair was actually pretty moisturized but on that same token i'm i'm gonna throw some more oil moist some more oil not not moisture but some oil oil on my scalp just to make sure that i'm sealing in um that moisture so in order to get my hair into a high bun it's somewhat difficult when you're dealing with locks because you're trying to pull your hair up and so some folks do it like this they take their locks up a few at a time and then just kind of build that high ponytail. You can do that. I do like to just flip my hair over. I flip my head over and, and pull my hair into a high ponytail. If you've got somebody else doing your locks, it's nice to just lean your head back and get them to get that high ponytail going on. However, since I don't have anybody else doing my hair, I'm going to flip myself over. I'll be right back. So now that I've got my hair gathered up into a very high ponytail, right? So um, I got my hair, you'll see it's all nice and gathered up. I'm going to go ahead and get my rubber band. And I, I have huge ponytail holders. I got them from, I think, Target or Walmart. No, I'm lying. I did not get them from Walmart because I don't go to Walmart. No offense, but I don't. <laughs> um, and I'm not going to make my ponytail too tight, right? So I'm just going to take this ponytail around, to hold her around too tight. Lord have mercy, what am I doing? <laughs> Goodness gracious, I'm jacking it up is what I'm doing. Uh, yeah, <laughs> BTS behind the scenes, right? So here, let's let's try that again. Now that we got our hair 
oops, I got my hair up. Hold on, I'm gonna try and look behind y'all into this mirror. All right, I got my hair in my high pony. I'm going to wrap this ponytail holder around once. Do, 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 do. And then I'm gonna wrap this ponytail holder around twice, just twice. Okay, here we go. And I'm relatively careful with my locks. So now I've got this high ponytail. I got a high ponytail going on. And so what we're going to do is we are going to start tying bows, right? Like it's crazy, but it's tying bows. So we're going to do, it's the shoestring method. So we're going to take, um, I'll say take two locks. So we're going to take two locks um, and then maybe another two locks right here. And we are just going to tie them like we're tying a bow, right? And pull. And so we create loops. And you don't wanna to pull too tight, so you're gonna create two loops. And then you're just going to keep um, tying like bows. And I'm trying to get locks that are the same, about the same length um, so that when we create the loops. They look consistent and it may be a little bit challenging when you're trying to put two together. Right, so here, tie and then get both of those through and then pull. And so you can see we're creating loops. So we're going to create a lock bun with all of these loops. And so like the comments, you'll, you probably, you may have seen the reel that Annette posted with her tutorial on how to achieve this style. Oops, these two are different lengths. So you may have seen Annette's reel on how to achieve this style. Um, and everybody's comment was like, oh, that must be really hard to take down. And it's actually not because all you're doing, you're actually creating bows. So it's just like untying your shoelaces. So you're just gonna untie your shoelaces um, a lot. So here, let me, I'm gonna bring a mirror over so that I can see. And I'm just gonna keep going and tie me up some bows.
we've got, it looks like, okay, so now that we've got all of our petals tied, we're just gonna go through and shape. So I'm gonna take some um, three inch hairpins and I'm just gonna tuck in any of these um, blatantly loose pieces, right? I'm not gonna do a lot of pinning. I'm just gonna tuck in a few of them that are, that are just hanging out, like this one back here is doing a little bit of hanging out and there's not one to marry it to. So I'm just gonna take it and take my three inch pin and pin it in there. And we're just gonna also shape this a little bit as well. So we're gonna shape and pin a little bit so that we don't have any Crazy stragglers. Many crazy stragglers. We'll have some stragglers. It's a messy bun. It's supposed to be messy. So, but any of the big, big, big straight pieces, we're gonna just uh, take our pins and pin those in. Oops. Don't get a pin lost in there unnecessarily. So. And you may need to, again, shape that up a little bit. Pin in there. All right. And for the most part, that is our loose messy bun so okay so first and foremost i'm not naked i, I actually have on wait hold on can you see i have on i have an address right <laughs> so um anyway i i wanted to i i did a little i did a little sound sound with the face you know so i wanted to come and just give you a quick i did pin a couple of um a couple of spots and i have a little bit of shaping to do over here but i think um all in all my little petal bud oh i am so excited about it i'm so proud of it i think it is uh, absorbs so again quick easy petal bun um, tying like shoelaces um, i did put a few pins so that i didn't have any um, strings sticking straight up and so when I go to unpin them and just pull each one of these down I actually maybe I'll do a video about taking this down since it was such a huge controversy um, right so on my Instagram or not on my Instagram post but on Napstar's Instagram post where she posted the video of um, hold on do I have lipstick on my teeth now when she posted the video of this style um, so, so many people commented about um, how hard it would be to take down, and it really wasn't that difficult to take down when she did it. Um, I'm hoping that it's not that difficult to take down um, when I do it. Um, so I'm going to unpin and I will just find the first straight loop or straight piece and I'll just start to pull down. Um, it might tangle up a little bit, but they're locked. So it's not like they're gonna knot up or anything like that. So it's not like I'm going to have knots in my hair that I won't be able to get out. Um, so again, maybe I will post a quick lock short uh, later on um, of the takedown, but yeah, this is my lock pedal shoestring pedal bun. I'm thinking I like it as I kick the uh, the vanity. But anyway, that is it, my lovelies. Until next time, I will catch you guys on the flip side. Bye.